All right, it's more update time for Halloween Horror Nights. There's a lot that's been going on since the last time we were here, and we're just gonna jump into it. Oh man, the Pumpkin Lord stage has been set and it is ready to go. There's a lot of details we gotta cover here. Hey Jess, they got a spot for me there. I am the Pumpkin Lord, right? As soon as you walk into the park, this is what you see. The Pumpkin Lord is going to sit up there. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait to see the torture he inflicts on guests as they walk through these gates. Check it out. She's found details already. Hey, there's a lot of details there, right? I really like it. You like it? Like, I like the vibes like, a lot more than the last year. It's more, it's legit traditional, right? So the first thing that she's found right here was for this, each one of these are for the scare zones. This one's for the witch scare zone. So you see up top there, but then it's like you come down underneath the, the dirt into the ground buried in there. It's like within the mud, look, it's all wet looking and everything. You got a voodoo doll, you got a witch's broom, some kind of uh, Blair witch thing going on there some bones. Like I said, each one of the scare zones is represented here as soon as you walk in the park in the main area where all the pumpkins are right here. That was the first one for the witches. This is for the graveyard here. Some bones there. You got a skull there with a skeleton hand going there with all the vines. I have rib cage, I guess. I don't know. Beamer, a tombstone. Who is buried that deep in the ground that they need a tombstone way down there? It must have been real evil. Oh look, we just found evil. <laughs> All these pumpkins here. 31 right there. Yeah. Now you really want, yeah. So the history about Jess wanting this, she wants it for home for our living room. But are you just guarding it now? With the Why is it every time we're filming in a scare zone, Beetlejuice is playing? It's, you know, it's God, us. God's like me. Exactly. Yeah, that is awesome. Put in the request. Put the request in. Universal, you hear it. Um, I'm putting a request in to take this home for our living room. All the pumpkins here. Little Boo is up there. I am not going to show you where he is. That's for you to figure out and find on your own. I'm not giving it all away. And then the last one over here is for the New York Scare Zone with the Major Sweets candy. Yeah. Check out all the lollipops, all the candy up top there. Then you come down to hatchets, masks, candy buried well under the earth there, and more traditional trick or treat candy bags right there. Scarecrow Scare Zone one right here. So the Scarecrow up there, the Scarecrow mask there, a sickle, a voodoo doll, a Scarecrow hand, and some corn. So the important things up are up right now. The food menus. Jess, I'm gonna let you really kind of cover the food menus because. This is what we come for every year, and we really uh, die for. Food. Pun intended. All right, Jess, what we got here? All right, so we have some beverages, as it were. Yeah, some beverages, okay. And at this one, we have some carnitas arepas, uh -huh. some mozzarella. And this looks very interesting, the witch's spell cauldron stew. Okay. 
Which I'm guessing comes with like, it comes, it comes with a little, little skeleton cornbread. Yep. Adorable. So out of those. That sounds really good to me. Okay, so that's what I was just gonna ask you. So that's the one that you want to try most at this one this year then. It's more of the ice cream and I mean that one would just be for the novelty, but okay. which one sounds the best to yeah. me? That one. Okay. I mean I'm I'm kind of interested, but I don't that one sounds like more balanced. Okay. <laughs> okay. Cool. So how we just did that food booth is how I'm going to do the rest of these food booths today. We're going to look for that one thing in each food booth that we're going to really want to try during this year. Does that sound good, Jess? Sure, why not? I mean, food period does sound good, so I mean, yeah. So, I'm kind of down with the little vibe that the booths have going on this year that like, I don't know, they sort of look like little houses. So I guess you kind of feel like you're like trick-or-treating your way through the uh, event, getting some food. Very cool. I dig it. This one here is by far my favorite looking food booth. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. All right, so the first Gramercy Park location. More beers. It looks like they're going to have all the same beers everywhere. That Voodoo uh, Brewing Company is going to be all over the place, but the foods are definitely going to change. So what we got here, Jess? They're bringing back the fried PB and J. So this is the fried booth, kind of. Fun. Yeah. So it's got the fried PB and J, fried These, Twinkies. These, the Twink, the Oreos food. were so. We, we did the Oreos last year, and we did PB the Twinkies. Was good too. We did all of these. Yeah, we did all of these <laughs> last year. They were really good. So honestly, this everything on this menu here, was safe to say that we're going. Yeah, exactly. All right, booth number two at Gramercy Park. Well, I mean, they do got some different drinks places, it seems like, but the same canned beverages all over the place. All right, so, haunted horseshoe and some popcorn. Honestly, I'm going for this. Honestly, okay, this had, except for the jalapeno. I know, that lost you there, but for me, the jalapeno is good. This actually sounds interesting. It does. It's popcorn, blood spattered kettle corn. Exactly. Very into trying. I think we're going to be in trouble this year with food. There's a lot of food options. A lot more than last year, I think. What do you think? A lot more than last year? Yeah, this is our first area. Yeah. Well, this area, is, this New York area is always pretty heavy right here around the uh, Central Park area. Yeah, right by the tribute store, and this is everybody hangs out over here too. So check this one out with the blood prints. Oh, this is the Twisted Tater ones right here. All right, so we don't really need to get much into that. Everybody knows about Twisted Taters. Fiery Twisted Tater. They had that last year too. Did they? I believe so. I thought they just had the regular ones. I believe they had that. Oh no, they had. I think it was the Blood and Guts Twisted Tater last year, but. You can get all these on your Twisted Tater if you don't want to go for all that. You got seasoned salt, Parmesan, uh, garlic Parmesan, sour cream and chives, which is really good. We had that last year a lot, and ghost pepper. Next one is, oh man, Jess, look at this. Look at this design on this house. That is so cool. All right. Again with all the, uh, oh this got a, a pumpkin ginger snap punch here. That sounds really good. For a drink? Petrified rat tails. I want to try those so they, much. What is that? Is it like funnel cake fries? No, they're just regular, regular french fries, fries and they have crab cake? on it. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Ice cream sandwich. Sounds great. Spicy turkey and squash bun. Yep. Sounds kind of fall on Thanksgiving. I'm yep. Here. And there's going to be one more in the Gramercy Park area that we're going to hit. I'm really feeling the zombie theme this year. Right? So here, what about this here? This is another one. We got Bog Slime Returning Part 2, the sequel. Lentil and Potato Sambusa Coffin. I'm interested. Pepperoni Pizza Skulls. Interested. Yeah, I'm hearing that those are really good. The Blue Spicy Pumpkin Bun. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And then the tombstone red velvet cake. Which you can see right there in the picture. So. <laughs> Is that your dead face? <laughs> it is today. 
<laughs> yeah, so that's the pizza skull right there. Love it. I know. New York scare zone, I could tell you what's here, but it's gonna give it away. Oh, well, I mean, you can kind of see what's gonna be here. You got a bunch of candies and stuff over here on this booth. So really not much has changed from last time over here, but this has changed. So you can see what the tribute store is gonna look like, and there's actually stuff up here on the window. What you got? So I'm not even gonna read these all for you guys. I'm just going to, oh, that's a good tribute to the Red Coconut Club there. I'm gonna let you guys read these on your own and... Like basically it's a bunch of articles saying that the closed down theater got bought by some candy guy for some unique Halloween celebration. Some unique Halloween celebration, okay. I really don't get what's going on here. I don't think most of us do. Yeah, it, it does seem like a weird excuse to not change the facade. It's a weird vibe going to be in there. It's a mixture of everything in there. So apparently there's going to be a cemetery in there. There's going to be a bunch of like different things in there. So it makes no sense. There's no one theming to it. So it's not like the theater was. So. Right, last year had a story that went through it with, uh, with a whole haunted house feel to it too. So I don't know. Well, we'll find out in uh on the 31st when it opens up to team members. I will be in there, and you guys can all uh, get it first here on this channel. You could be like me and watch it on the live stream because you're not allowed to be there. Sorry, guys, I work here. So. She does, but Jess will be. You can hang with me on chat. Exactly. And we could all be better together. It's great. We're cool. Sorry, guys, <laughs> but we're all. I'm gonna take you into the fog, anyways. It's cool. Yeah, just because, yeah, the mummy's still closed. That's all. So here's an update, is this section where the Blues Brothers hang out and perform is back open, but not the whole thing. And then this over here is another food booth, but it's a food locker. How do you feel about this whole meat freezer? As being a food booth, huh? So what we got here? Fried zombie brains. Fried zombie brains, okay. Which is fried cauliflower. Only one of the dishes even has meat in it. It's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> that is kind of funny. And then this right here, the... Um, Fresh Crown Princess? Yeah. <laughs> it's actually really good. <laughs> So, I don't know how you feel about this. It's kind of funny on how there is only one meat product, right? So here, check it out over here. Yeah, I mean, it's just... Yeah, there's a whole inside part. So... Right? Like, butcher, feel, they got... Exactly. Especially in the New York section. You got all the hanging meat. Right? And then there's only one way in and one way out. <laughs> Alright, so I'm inside Louis right now. And this is the normal pizzeria, Italian restaurant here. But this is where the dining is going to be for the scare actors. And it's cool because I see this little thing over here that they got going on with uh, Halloween Halloween theme going. I think this is gonna be a really cool photo op. They may have uh, Mike Myers in here maybe with for a photo op. This is kind of cool. It's kind of creepy with the storm coming behind this bar here, but all the bars are like this this year, They're the same as last year. You see a booth like that, it's a bar. All the food booths have the theming to them. The bars have a theme to them too, but they're all gonna be the same theme for the bar. So what we just showed you there, that's where you get your drink on. Even the food trucks are into this this year too, so uh, we got more menu. San Francisco uh, food truck. All the same beers, all the mac and cheese. 
sacrificial remains mac and cheese, chili mac and cheese bowl that with one sausage. Really good. They both sound really good on the I'm gonna try both of them. Yeah, both of them are gonna be a winner. Also, as you can see, is when we're showing you these menus, the prices are on there too, so you have an idea what you're gonna be spending for the food. Jess is gonna love this next scare zone in the San Francisco area with all the witches. You can see more stuff has been added already. Got foliage added over here. And these. Look at look at these pop-outs, Jess. These are amazing. Like there's just so much detail into that. You got the uh, carts over here with like just evil, just pure evil on it. Look at her, she's in, she's in awe right now. She loves this one. This is awesome too. Right in front of the stage. Bunch of dead things all over the place, I love it. It's got the writing on it. Nothing's really changed over there. Like, oh man, just like. This is so awesome. This is all right outside of Fast and Furious over here by Lam uh, Lombard's over here too. So awesome. Another pop out. How you feel at that scare zone? Right? It's, it's, it's better than Crypt TV last year, I'll tell you that much. Crypt TV was cool. I think this is going to be less of a bottleneck over here this year. Yeah. Especially that the show isn't going to be over here with the haunted it's a lot house. More and open exactly. Like exactly. A lot more concise. Like it has one theme where like Crypt TV just had a bunch of right. things. Right. This is witches, you know, and that's what we're sticking to. Over here, there's a bar going on. And it's all like nautical theme back here. I'm not even gonna go all the way back there because we showed you guys last time what's going on. And there's just menus go up here now. And really, it's all it is, it's just a bar. All I'm gonna say is my prediction is right. Chucky's back this year. Two places. Two places, two places we get Chucky. One of them's very, very fitting and appropriate. All right, so that's a food booth there. That's usually the vegan food booth there. But I'm sure you can see it on the side here, but the photo op is back. This is actually a really cool photo booth if you can get the, this and do it. Maybe you guys can help too. Is Jess is saying that that, booth, that um, photo op is bigger than last year. I don't think so, she thinks so. She wants me to go back and look at videos from last year. But if you guys... Last year was just one box. Okay. No extra Chucky box. But it's cool to see that because that only means Chucky's coming back on sci-fi. So Duff, why are we filming this right here? It was because number one, Dufftober usually comes back around in October and stuff. And usually this bar here is usually a lot less crowded than all the other bars. So if you're really in a rush and just want to hang out and chill. Springfield is your place to go. Oh look, another food booth coming up. With Kids Zone right around the corner, what would be appropriate for a food booth to have right here in front of us? Keep in mind what I said with Chucky in two places. Yeah, I had a feeling that that was gonna be the other one. Yeah, 100% is Chucky right here, right outside Kids Zone. Yes, thank you Universal. Chucky's booth. Here we go. Yeah, I'm all about it. I am all about it. Yes, I, I it's it looks so good. What? Yeah. So can you explain that to me? Because I don't really get it. Charles Lee Ray is the guy that like 
serial killer in Chucky. Like okay. Chucky. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. A lot of people didn't understand what that was. So. Really? Yeah. Come on, yo. I'm disappointed. <laughs> Check it out. This is amazing here. Oh, look. So this one back here with all the pumpkins on it is another twisted tater food booth. Jess has found her castle. What you got? Oh, man. And then what about those mummy cookie tap? Uh, Right? And this is all that... Drink sounds really delish. Kind of that. Yeah, I kind of want that. <laughs> like, hullabaloo going on. Yeah, the hullabaloo going on. And they look open, but they're not open. But, they're open so. to executives only today, so the executives from Give University. Give a little tasting. Exactly. Executive premium. Lucky you guys! I hope you guys have an amazing <laughs> tasting today. Central Park Scare Zone. This is gonna be the Scarecrows. Yeah, I love that. The outhouse there. There's a lot more here since the last time we filmed here. Look at the repurpose over here. This is amazing. Look at Jess, you see the repurpose? This was outside of the theater last year. All the little scare zones. Fun fact, D-Light used to live around the corner from me. Oh, okay. <laughs> you got some more going on over here. You got some wood popping up for the barn that's supposed to be popping up over here at the scare zone. Let me apologize for the uh, speed at which we show you the scare zone. Yeah, I mean, literally, it's like thunder and lightning and... Uh, we need to move. We're just kind of hoping to get Yeah, we're, we're, we're pushing time right now. We got a truck out here. That's really cool. Yes, I showed you this bar last week, but there is an enhancement to this. So as you come up the stairs over here, around the fountain, there's a whole area set up, which is really awesome. What you got on the menu? Go check it out. It's kind of long. Okay. In the interest of not getting rained on, I'm not going to like go through all of them individually, but good option. Got the Via de los Marcos. At Cafe La Bamba. So Jess is saying they're all good and she wants them all. Okay. Yeah, again, we apologize about the quickness of the ending of this because we need to get shelter real quick. It's. Yeah, it's kind of spooky over the cemetery right now. <laughs> like, yeah. Well, all I can say is, uh, welcome to Florida during hurricane season and during the summer because you have no clue what's going to happen. Oh no, you have a clue. It's going to do this pretty much every afternoon at some <laughs> point, so <laughs> be prepared. Exactly. Gonna be another quick scare zone because nothing really has changed in here anyways i'm just gonna do a quick walkthrough with you guys all the foliage up i really feeling that sign over there that gate that's that's new since you were here right the crying child well well that's Definitely always not here well the crying children are always here the child is so funny you didn't want to come through here you're scared i think the gate was okay yeah, it's, it's got a great vibe to it though. I'm loving this so much. I just like the whole feel of this year because being haunted house people, as if you're familiar with the channel, you know Danny and I are. That's how we met and where we came from. So um, it has a real like classic haunted house vibe. It's got a it's like it's like a homey like, vibe to like, us. You're hitting all the classics and I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do this on the go here. If you have anything to interject, do it. But we can't stand around one area. We're heading back to the car. It's getting nasty. Um, tips and tricks for Horror Nights. So, number one, any of your cups, leave them empty until you get into the parks because you can't bring anything in. You can't even bring in a closed bottle of uh, soda. 
Like we got stopped last year with that one. So first hand experience on that. Uh, your, your drinker cups like this, empty before you get into the park. Anything that considered a weapon ain't coming in the park. Security is tight at the gates. All right, so security is out of the way. And now talking about, like Jess and I like to get to the park maybe around seven or so because the mission, it gets crazy at the start of the night, right? So we get the frequent scare passes, so it lets us hear all season. We don't rush it. Uh oh. Apparently we gotta rush a little more because it's raining. But we don't rush coming into the park because we, we don't like that crowd at the front of the gate. Um, it works for us. If it's your first night here, you may want to take advantage of the uh, stand, the scream areas. They do help you if you're here for one night. Right, would you say? Yeah, Danny does those sometimes when I'm not around. I don't really like... Honestly, I did like them one time. A crowd like that, right, so. I did it one time so and I won't do it again. really work for me personally. Right. So if you're like me and you don't like to Look, I can deal with crowds as long as I have the freedom to move where I right. need to go. But, but if you get crowd anxiety and, like and, 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 and things like that, it's not the ideal spot for you because it really you're in there like cattle. Um, also, speaking of cattle, keep in mind that you are pushed through the haunted houses really quick too. So, um, express passes, if you're here one night, yeah, go ahead, get it 100%. Um, frequent fair passes, that's on you. Honestly, we did okay without it last year. We usually do one house a night, and it works perfectly yeah, for we us. Do two. Like, we can do two yeah. easily at night, yeah. and like. Well, here's the other thing too: is a lot of downtime. Oh. we noticed that if you're here later at night, the house lines go down to a more manageable uh, time. So we're gonna finish this in a little bit in the car. Yeah. This is why we left the park. <laughs> uh, welcome to Florida. <laughs> welcome to Florida. Thank you, Thunder. <laughs> wow. Dun, dun, dun. But we got to the car. Yeah. We managed to get to the covered part before we got soaking wet. We just made it. Don't worry, those tips will be coming momentarily, finishing that up for you guys, so. 10 four. <laughs> okay, since we can't get out of the car, we're just gonna finish it here, because you can hear what's going on. So where we left off was us coming to the park for these tips. Jess and I, as we stated, we'd like to come later in the day, because we have the passes. <coughs> And we're a local, yeah. so. So like, if that's your option, highly recommend to do what we do, and that's like, you know, go a few times throughout the two months that you have to go. Yeah. So you have plenty of time. We try to hit up at least like once a week, twice a week, maybe yeah. if we can, um, and do a house or two, walk around see what's going on, catch the vibe, get something to eat. Right. That way we get to try all the food at different times, get to, get to bring you guys lots of different stuff, different nights, different things going on that maybe weren't going on on other nights. You never know. So that's the way we like to do it. Now, that's not always the option. Like when we came down for our honeymoon, we were living in New York, right. boom, one night. So that's, so that's the other the thing. We got the express pass that time. We did the whole nine that, that yeah. year. Like, honestly, if you're here one night, do it all. I would highly, other than the express passes, I would recommend the uh, RIP thing, the, the tour thing. The, for the VIP access and everything like that because then you're guaranteed to see everything. You have reserved seating uh, for the shows and everything else like that. So, and they just move you along really quick and you can go and see these houses. Um, just, they walk you right on in without an issue. For us, it's not worth it for the price. If we're here one night, yes, it's worth it. Because, you know, think of it this way, you're coming down for one night you're going to want to see everything, you're going to want to do everything. That's a lot to do. It's a lot to do on one night. So yeah, do it that way. Um, express passes, we don't do it. 
we don't mind standing on line just because, you know, it's like, all right, you know what, we'll wait on a long line and do that one house that day. We kind of know what house we want to do before we walk in the park, right? Like, that's what we did last year. Yeah, we did. So we have an idea. Kind of have a we got a game plan going that way. Um, we don't just walk in blindly and say, "Well, all right, whatever." But towards the I mean, end of the season, I it's like toward the beginning. I think we knocked out the ones that had short wait time. Right. Or like we would pick one and be like, "Okay, we're definitely going to do this one. Like we're going to do Beetlejuice tonight." Right. And then, um, like if we could knock off one or two other ones that didn't have really long wait times, we would knock them off too. Right. Know? And then it kind of got to be what haven't we done yet? Exactly. And then after and that, what do we want to do again? That really kind of goes to the same thing for food. Because if you do all the food in one night, that's a lot of food. Yeah, possibly. Like you would think, and they're not necessarily huge portions, most of them, but still it's filling and right. it's a lot of food. Jess like, and I, no way at events like this, that. Jess and I do have a tendency of splitting the food items. We don't get, you know, Two of each item. Yeah, that way we can try like two or three different right. things at night as long as we. And I eat a lot. And. Well, yeah, you know, <laughs> but at the end of the really night, intense. at the end of the night, I'm okay leaving the park and I'm not hungry anymore. Like, I'm, I'm full with the way we do it. You know, get two or three items through the night, split it. You know, you're obviously gonna have your drinks, you know, your Coke freestyle machines are still open. So take advantage of those. Um, they do have specialty horror, uh, horror nights cups that you can get for freestyle machines. Really cool. Um, I mean, really, the whole aspect of this is really enjoy yourself. That's 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 all we really can say is enjoy. Wear comfortable shoes. Expect rain too, because it's later in the day here in Florida. Yeah. I mean, right now it's like five o'clock in the afternoon, and it's Don't doing this. Know. Expect like last this. year it rained opening night. Yeah. So like opening night didn't have stealth walkers. Right. Um, like that's, all the stuff right, and that's characters a, were just walking around. Right. So it was a little different. And some of the tent houses will close during rain too because it's technically outdoors. So yeah. um, with lightning, thunder and things like that. The, the sound stages stay open, but the tents they do close. So and those areas are prone to flooding back there too, so uh, safety reasons that they are closing it. So there's other things to do, and then also keep in mind is, you know, if, if those houses are closed and you want to get to those, the rides are open too. There's rides that still, you know, still open, and I mean, you got Transformers like, open and things like that. Hot tip. And we're definitely going to take advantage of that this year, um, because uh, I love Horror Nights for how empty Harry Potter, like Diagon Alley, yeah. best time. When everybody goes into Harlem, Diagon Alley empties out. Um, so we've been looking for a time to do like the uh, a video on the wands, and the yes. different wand spots, and how they all work and everything like that. But there's always a lot of kids around. I don't want to take up time recording and you know. But horror nights, boom, perfect time late at night. Bring guys. And everybody's out doing horror night stuff. Yep. So. It's a great time to check out Diagon Alley. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I mean, you got Green Guts back there, and all the shops and stuff are, are open too. And and like waits for everything are going to be so much shorter. Here's than enough, ice cream place, Here's a tip that we got from last year. So speaking of the butter beer, is if it is a chillier night out, because not all nights in October are hot down here. It's you know it's that weird time of year. Yes, yeah, sometimes where, if it rains, it's right. a little chilly. So, you have hot butterbeer back there, so you can get something warm to drink too, you know? I mean... And it's pretty good. It's, yeah, it's really good, so... I it, love the hot butterbeer on a lake. If it, when it gets a little bit cool out, it's like, it doesn't happen often in Florida that you get that good mix of cool weather where you can enjoy a good hot butterbeer. But it does happen. But those nights are the best ones. Exactly, but yeah, definitely you're going to want, you know, comfortable shoes during this event. Trust me, there's a lot of standing, a lot of walking, and yeah. And yeah. So not really flip flops. Just, I mean, you know, you're going to be online for, like, if you do time. the lines, you're going to be online. But everybody's usually pretty cool. Like, we've been on, you know, we've, we've, <laughs> we've had, had so great many times people, yeah. online with certain people. Like, we were online with great people. What house was that for last year that we were online? Beetlejuice. For? Was it? Yeah, it was Beetlejuice. We were 
once these people come up to us and they start playing heads up and start including <laughs> us in it. <laughs> yeah, we just the conversation for a while. Like we had a great time yeah, with them all that. Engage in awesome kind of, like people around you they're all in the same mindset as you and they're there to enjoy the same thing as you're doing. Yeah, so but if anything just like, you know, be prepared for that. Like if you need something to entertain yourself, have something to entertain a yourself. A game on your phone, you know? Whatever. You know. And keep in mind too is this year that it, it, like, well, no, same as every year. Before you get online, it's gonna be a while. So don't right. be like, oh, okay, we'll jump into someone's house and I'll be after. That's a terrible idea. Or I'll, I'm kind of thirsty, but I'll grab something to drink after this haunted house. Again, terrible idea. Grab something to drink before you get online. You got to that freestyle that cup line. up. There's garbages throughout the line yep. if you need to throw things out. Yep. or whatever along the way because you really shouldn't bring also, drinks and stuff no, inside the Also, no, that's the thing houses. is they don't allow drinks yeah. in the houses. And also this year, uh, this year they have added cameras in the houses, I can tell you this. Yeah. So, if you plan yeah, on if you're planning on recording in the houses or doing something stupid in the houses, they know who's doing what. Yeah. Just don't do it. Just follow their rules. Yeah. Um, Please, like don't touch the actors. Coming from some haunt actors, we're going to give you some haunt actor personal advice now. Yeah. These people work really hard to put on a good event for you and to give you, you know, a good show and a good time. Um, they get paid to scare you. You, you don't, don't get paid to scare them. So yeah, don't mess with the actors or go in and show how scared you are. If that's, it, look, if you're not there to enjoy it, then don't go. But don't go and go, I'm not scared, I'm not scared. Like, really? If you're not scared, what are you doing? go and enjoy Why? the artistic value of the house. Because there's yeah. a lot of details in these houses that a lot of people put a lot no, of time and, and, and effort And honestly, into. like, we're not stupid as actors. It's those of you that are the most scared that walk around yelling that you're not scared. It's ridiculous. Like, so don't mess with the... Like, go through and have the experience that was created for you. Yeah. And don't try to be a part of whatever, you know, like, Don't be a punk. you are not, you are a spectator, so spectate, and <laughs> keep it moving. And don't be a punk. Yeah. Like, but like, you know, be conscious of that there's people in front of and behind you. You cannot stop and start taking pictures no. of yourself. It, you know, like, you can't, in general, just keep up the flow, keep a good pace so everybody gets to see everything, you know, um. Yeah, I mean, just have fun. Like we said, just have fun out there. Like if you and if you see us, choose, if you choose to drink at these events, like do it we, smartly. We normally don't. Maybe once, you know, like we'll try one thing. Look, but you we'll guys share. know that we will drink, but we're not. Yeah, we're, not we're drinking adults, too. but we're not huge drinkers either. But at events like this, I, I, you know, like some people go just for that. That's great, but be aware that you know. Be aware of what state you're in and control yeah. yourself, basically, you know, exactly. like... Exactly. <laughs> but I think, I think we're good on that, right? I mean, I think you guys all have an idea of what to do at these events. I mean, make sure you get your tickets beforehand because it's cheaper that way, too. At the and gate, and at the sure. gate, they could be sold out for the night, so you can show up and be screwed. So just keep that in mind. You yeah, know. definitely always. Fast passes, do fast passes. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, like for the express passes. Wow. Uh, express passes, do express passes before you get there too, because they will sell out for nights as well. Uh, they do open up express passes sometimes, sometimes at the end of the night for a cheaper value. If they notice that the park is dwindling down with attendance, but it's not a given or a guarantee that they're going to reopen them. Uh, as far as stay and screams, we can't tell you where they are this year because we don't know yet. They haven't announced them yet. Um, seeing what they're putting into the New York section uh, for that scare zone, I don't know if there's even going to be a stay and scream there because they got things to move in and out of there. So, and then you have Finnegan's, uh, not Finnegan's, um, you have Louis that has the, uh, char the, the character dining there, the uh, scare actor dining there. So, I don't know if there's even going to be a stand screen there. I don't know where any of these are. 
this year. It's it's all up in the air, but typically, I mean, we did go through where they normally are. So, I mean, Simpsons is a good guarantee that there's probably going to be one there. Um, so, we, we don't know. We don't know yet. So, keep an eye out for that. I mean, yeah, we're only a week away. We're making this video a week to the day on opening day. But, Wednesday for a first look sneak peek of Horror Nights because I Me will be we'll be sitting at home on our stupid computers getting a preview of Horror Nights from this fool who gets to go first mm -hmm. I will be at team member preview night so uh, we'll definitely see you there in the fog and he'll be live and I won't be live I'll be like typey typey if you see any comments so from Serial Geeks that night, it's from Jess. Geek, one little geek. But we're going to have fun. <laughs> we'll see you we're in the fog. We're going to have fun. He's going to have fun. We, if you see us. I'll have fun with these people. But if you guys, again, if you see us we're out there gonna, any night. We're all going to hang out and talk. <laughs> we're not talking to you. <laughs> if you guys see us out there any night, stop us, say hi. Because we'll be there. We'll see you guys in the fog.